What's up guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna to be working on the X-axis gantry and also attaching the Y-axis to the actual wasteboard support. And then we're gonna take the X gantry and we're gonna be marrying that up with the Ys, making sure everything's square, making sure everything's set. All right guys, so let's get started. If uh, you have the queen bee kit and that's what you're building, you're building the queen bee, you never had a work bee, you never put that together, you never took it apart, and you're just building your queen bee. All of this mechanical side is all gonna be the same for you. The only thing different is gonna be the electrical work. I'm not gonna be covering the electrical work because I'm doing the upgrade. But the electrical work, as far as the wiring, the programming, everything that is all exactly the same as the work bee. And I have detailed all of that in great detail on my other series whenever we originally did the work bee. Down below in the information, I have all those links for those videos. So if you are building a queen bee, you never had the work bee, reference those videos for all your electronics, all your wiring, all your programming, and you will be completely set and good to go for your Queen Bee Pro. All right guys, so on this here, we're gonna be attaching the Y axis to a wasteboard support. First things first is that you're gonna have your plate that's on here. So we're gonna take that plate off and we're gonna get four of your T-nuts. We're gonna shoot them in. It's not as easy doing it with one hand, so you might have an advantage over me on that. So you're just gonna slide this in to where you can see the hole. Stick your screw in. And then just tighten it down, but don't uh, tighten it all the way down. Leave it loose. So I'm gonna do that to all four of these, then I'll come back to you because it's easier for me to do it with both hands. Okay, once you got all four in there, um, just make sure that they're loose so that this can move. This can slide in and out and then put your plate back on. That way it can't come off at all, all the way off. And then we're gonna go around and we're gonna do the other side. And then we're gonna, we're not gonna tighten these up on either corner until we get the X gantry up between the two Y plates and we can make sure everything's square. And then at that point, we'll tighten these sides down. Once we know that the Y axis and everything is all square to the X gantry. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. Okay, so now we've got all four corners of the Y axis all hooked up. And like I said, we got those side plates on right here. And these are loose so that we can do the squaring. Um, well, we're gonna bring these plates forward over here and the easiest way to do that is just get yourself your screw your screwdriver and latch on to it and you can bring yourself all the way forward just like that all right guys so basically for this uh x gantry rail it's going to be the same thing as we did for the y-axis rails the only real difference is going to be on this beam is going to be open the c part is going to be open here hopefully you can see what that is you can tell that difference there. um and the rails are going to be going right here on this side right on this edge so we have this gap open because the lead screw is going to be running right through here in the middle so we're going to go ahead and uh get that all going and then we'll get to the next part with uh, putting on the bearings.
All right, guys, so it's going to be the same situation with uh, these bearings as it was on the Y axis. They're the same bearings. Um, it's got the plastic insert in here that you need to uh, kind of push out with the rail whenever you put it on, but also, too, you're, uh, you're doing your grease insert here. Make sure that one side you've got your uh, one side you got that that uh, nut tightened, and then on the other side you put your grease cert in there. I've been keeping the screws too, as well as the uh, as well as the plastic rails. So this, uh, if you're wondering. The, uh, the grease cert, it's a five mil and uh, doesn't need to be anything more than just finger tight really. Make sure you do that with all your, all your bearings so you got them loaded, ready to go. Double check that these are tight on the side that it's gonna be staying on because these are pretty loose so. So just like before, just slide them on. Uh, make sure you got your grease certs pointed to the outside because your plate's gonna be right here. And uh, that's gonna be your access points for, uh, for maintenance for these things. So, and um, keep, your, keep your plastic pieces for a later date if you need them to taking the bearings off. Because if you take the bearings off without these pieces of plastic, you're gonna lose the ball bearings from the inside. All right guys, so we're gonna be working on this plate. Um, this is what's gonna be mounted to your X gantry and what your, um, your Z access is gonna be mounting to this. So we have the original um, nut blocks that we used for the work bee. And basically the only difference is, is they have these blocks like you can see here, and it's got these grooves. So the, basically goes like this, and these longer extended screws feed through and lock it in place. And uh, really, uh, basically, easiest way to do that is just to get one started here and get that in place. And then you can put this extender in, get your other screw, and get it started, and then that block is locked in place there. It's not going to fall out on you. Double checked and triple checked um, these screws, because obviously that's protruding quite a bit. That's pretty long-winded. Um, these are the 55 mil low profile screws that the instructions call for, um, and they stick out of that uh, the end of that nut block about five mil so I, to me that looks a little awkward um, but according to the directions um, 55 is it so that's what we're gonna go with we're gonna follow the directions and see where it leads us um, again on these just like on the other nut blocks for the for the y-axis um, snug them up and leave them loose because It'll, it'll make it everything better for whenever you have to feed the lead screw through. Just no need to make things more complicated. They only need to be, you know, just loose. And then you can tighten them up whenever we have everything up on the machine and, and uh, getting everything square. All right, these are gonna be the um, M4 button head screws. These 12 millimeter ones is what we're gonna attach this plate with to, this is not gonna fit right here. Slide it over here, and then slide it through the bearings like this. You just line yourself up. Should be pretty close anyways. And I like to get, uh, get one on each corner started. So as I said before, um, 
these rails, they do have a little bit of play here. So whenever you first get them on here, only only make them uh, a little little bit taut, not bolted down, not like uh, wrenched down to spec because you have to wait and to see that little bit of play right there that we have, that's gonna make a difference. So just like I said on the Y axis, make sure that you leave them a little loose until you have all of this mess together and you've got it all lined up. Because now we gotta get all of these threads aligned here. Alright, so now that we got these bearings tightened on, these rails are loose, we're gonna use this to align the rails. So go all the way to the edge, Get your, then get your rail, your first bolts here. Tighten them down. That way they have the exact separation to operate. Tighten these down, they're aligned. All right, so this is the last one you, you did. So now we're gonna go all the way down the line and we're gonna only tighten the ones after we've gone over it. Down to the next, tighten. All right guys, so we're gonna start getting this uh this X gantry up and we're gonna be connected to the Y. And uh, you could see right here, this is what I was talking about, is why we leave this loose, because we have to make sure that everything's lined up before we actually tighten down these bottom brackets. We need to have these T-nuts in here. So we're gonna have two for this. One here at the top, one at the bottom, and then these two as well. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Get yourself some blocks for your other side. As you can see here, prop it up. Move to the other side, do the same thing. All right, so before we go and we're actually tightening this down and lining this all up, you have one more piece that you gotta put on here. You got another 20, 20 by 40, just like this, that goes on the back of this beam. Get everything in place and snug. So once you got all your, get your Y axis all mounted up, make sure you run your gantry 
forward and back. Make sure everything's nice and even. And then get yourself a good square. And make sure you check every single corner to make sure that you're going from this rail to the Y rail. Oops. And make sure that you are square in every corner. For this last part, you're gonna start working on putting these angle brackets. They're gonna go into the, uh, the T-nut that you put in. Get your bolt done in the plate first, and then get the, uh, then you tighten this down. And then you're gonna do that for these two top, the two bottom, and the two, the one on the top and the one on the bottom on the back side. And you do that on both sides. And then once you're done with that, then we'll be done with this gantry and we'll move on to the z-axis on the uh the next episode all right guys so that's going to be a wrap for today so now we got the x gantry up we've got it all married up with the y-axis those are mounted everything's square everything's good to go all we're doing now is we're doing the z which uh we're going to be putting that together and then we're going to mount that to the plate on the x gantry we'll do some final checks as far as squaring getting it uh, calibrated. I'll show you how to calibrate it. And then after that, pretty much, it's just uh, strapping up the electronics, putting the wasteboard back on. So we're about done. We should probably be done with everything on the, the next episode. Something that's new since the last video, I promised you guys uh, some discount codes for Bulkman. Um, if you look down below, or if you caught my other video that specifically talked about just the discounts, all of the product codes are down below or the links that you need to use in order to go to that website and then it would be auto populated the coupon code or if you use the stucky works code that's down below on the actual bulk band site you're going to get a discount there too so these ones are good until june 30th and then once june 30th comes around we'll get issued some new ones and i'll update all the videos and i'll update all the links to make sure that you guys are uh you got everything there if you've been following my channel and you've you've uh, taken a look at my Harris Hawk Slammer, if you looked at her nest cam, she is two days away from that window of whenever they should start hatching. So it's getting close. It's pretty cool. I put a new camera in there, real close up, so we'll see the babies really good. Uh, but like I said, yeah, it's two days, and then we're in that window where they could hatch at any time. So it's pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty excited. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please just leave them down below. I try to be as responsive as possible to all the questions and all the comments down below. If you've got a nasty comment, don't even bother posting it because I will tear into your ass. I don't like that stuff. I don't do this work and I don't do all this effort to make these videos for people to act like that. I know there's just there's jerks in the world and there's always going to be jerks in the world, but it's just not necessary. It's not mature and it's just go someplace else for that we don't need it here this is about helping people this is about spreading knowledge so that we can help each other out and we can all be a little bit more successful at our hobbies or or making money or whatever this is for you whatever it is there is no place for anybody being nasty and leaving snide remarks or anything like that that's just not necessary all right, guys, so we'll see you next time.